chica. Just trying out this um, gel. I got it from a cash and carry. I got a couple, and they were really cheap, you know. I think what they use for putting under the um, when you go to the hotels too, and you open these stainless steel containers, and you get your your bacon and your sausage and whatever it is in the eggs and stuff. They use these things underneath. You can use them for fondues as well. I've never tried one on it. It says it's got three hours, it lasts for three hours, so I thought, okay, just, uh, just do a test. I expect it to take about 10 minutes to boil this water. It's just not, not a lot of water, it's just enough for this, uh, for one cup of this three in one. Don't need to boil excess water. Uh, and it's just a piece of uh, aluminium, alum, alloy, aluminium, I assume it is, aluminium heating pipe I guess some kind of pipe I just got it from the DIY place again cheap cheapest chips and one and the most expensive thing was this uh, this fan cover for for a desktop computer and it, I think it cost <laughs> it cost more than everything else and the and the, and the, the postage and packaging send it here although it was within Bulgaria doubled the price but anyway I have it now it does tend to get very hot I've noticed it I use it on something else and it gets really red hot and, I don't have any, uh, I forgot to bring the, the silicon mitt and I don't have any pliers or any uh, leatherman type tool on me. I've got paper and I've got rags and I've got these thick old uh, woolen cotton mix, nylon, whatever it is, mix uh, socks that I use to put the cups in and keep, keep the dirt in the sock and off the, the, the inside of the pack. So we'll see how we get on. Just a nice evening. I'm sitting out the wind here. Now I'm by the lake, but I'm in the in the field. There's all clay pigeons. I collected loads of these that they missed. The first stack of them. Find some use for them. And the sun is setting in that direction nicely. And there's the, uh, the mountains. Uh, go away. Von. Yeah, I can see the. It's still going. See the flames going there. Yeah, going for about five minutes. A watch kettle never boils. Well, you can't see the watch. Yeah, you can. We're around, getting on for tenish, tenish minutes or so. Yeah, we're starting to uh, show some show some agitation in the water. I'm just using these uh, bits of uh, clay pigeon to lift that off. Seems as I haven't got a proper pot grip. Right, I think we can actually put the the three in one. I'm using this little medicine spoon at the minute because it fits in this cup nicely. I can get the lid on. I can get a couple of these three in ones in in, in this pot. And if I'm, I can push them in, push them in here, and I can put this top through here. And it will shut in there, see? And it doesn't interfere with anything, so it all goes in the sock. Good little cup, this. The downside is it keeps everything bloody red hot, and you burn your lips if you're not careful. Right. Have a look, see how we're doing it. Mm, it's actually hot enough to make coffee. The water is is clean water. You don't need boiling water for three in one cup. And somebody disagrees with me. What do you mean you don't need it? Of course you need it. Oh, 
We've got a nice moon up there. Half a moon. Do you know half a moon? He's from down Peckham Way, ain't he? Half a moon. Half a moon. Mm hmm. Mmm, it is slow. That's the reason I wanted to look at the gel, because if you want to cook something on a slow heat, as opposed to, you know, a jet boil for your coffee. Jet boils are great for boiling water, but I don't want to jet boil my food. I want a, a slower burn. So this is just an experiment. I just started with water to give me an idea. There's no damper on this at all, only the fact that I got this ring the, com the, the Colgate ring of confidence around there and no air holes in it, there's no air coming from underneath so it's just drawing it in from the top but I can see the flame if it was dark you'd see it too, but I can see it it's burning nicely and I'm not getting black, that's why I use these I use these old fish tins let them take the, 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 the black off the, off the when the twig stove is going let them take all the, the black smoke and not on my, not on my, my cups some people like to blacken the cups and pots. Not me. Here we aim for off, you see. You see the steam coming up. It's a slow brew. Oh, now in civil twilight, the sun has gone down below the horizon. Yeah, about 20 minutes of light left, that's it. But we've got a moon and got a clear sky. We should be fine. Plus we've got loads of torches. Okay. I'm going to let that, I don't know if you can see inside the pot, you can now. It's close enough. It's near enough for what I need. So let's get that sock. Let's push this round without burning the fingers. Let's get the old sock on. Sock up. And let's get that poured in there. Mm -hmm. I just a bit, bit, a bit too much water. Not too much. Let's get the spoon in. Let's have the top on this in case we knock it over. Won't lose it all so quick. And let's get this off. See the gel? Let's get the, the lid on without burning ourselves. Okay, we'll let that cool. We'll put it all back in the sock. There's your, there's your moon up there. If you can see it. I can't see it on the camera. I can see it with the naked eye. Linda over there is hunting. Ratso is here, as usual. Wally's here, the old chap. And that's it, mate. Yes, he'll be off. He'll be off. For, he'll be off to the afterlife. Him. He'll be to the big boneyard in the sky. There you go. Thanks for watching.